What's going on, everybody? So, despite my my dec my decree earlier that we were not going to do any more modern cube drafts, I feel like I'm learning things about the format as we go. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if I like it, but I want to put the things I'm learning into practice. So, because I'm a glutton for punishment, because I just can't live without torturing myself when it comes to Magic: The Gathering. Oh god, I knocked everything off my desk. That's what happened. We're gonna give it another shot. So, I kinda like the ASMR wind sounds. It was extremely rare. I thought for a second it switched to a VOD or something. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? Is this my replay? What happened? But alas, dear viewer. No one had any idea. Alright guys, for those on YouTube, I paused the video so you guys would not have to wait for us going going from, from 2 to 8. Super Fritz just donated for a stipulation while we were waiting. And it said, draft all the Planeswalkers, or don't, I don't care, but probably do. So, you know, we're just going to draft all the Planeswalkers. And that's a, that's a thing that I said I've been wanting to do in this format anyway, so... Chris is a fan of Ska, that's true. If you can find the song on a Tony Hawk soundtrack, Chris is probably a fan of it. That's the barometer. Okay, well, I I, I, I brought you guys back from the from the pause too soon. And here we are. Okay, we did it. So, what I'm talking about is making them this big. That's the perfect size. Now, now they fit perfectly. Of course, there's no planeswalker in this pack. But Inferno Titan seems pretty, pretty beefy. I also don't mind an isolated chapel. So I'm probably just taking Inferno Titan. This card seems bananas. He says, as if, as if he's never cast or seen an Inferno Titan before. Hold on, let me read this test. I guess plus one, plus one, time, turn. Whatever does the top, just three damage. Wow, anytime it attacks? This card seems bananas. This has been... Whoa. Just look at that. I'm just like invisible now, and I'm just ahead. This has been an M20 set review. M twelve M twenty twelve set review with Frank. Thank you guys for watching. I think this is the bad guy from Moana. Okay. Dream Trawler. God, this card seems bananas. We got Garrick, Apex Predator, Liliana, and Saheli Rai. Can you do a quick M11 set review for the hot new mythic, also Inferno Titan? <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Did you say M20, M M11? I can only do the M I can only do the M12 uh, Inferno Titan. See, you say Saheli, but I think Garrick, Apex Predator, was doing some work for us yesterday, boy. What if Cultivate comes back? Have a Zoom interview tomorrow. You have an interview? Are you doing the interview? Are you interviewing? What's happening, Jimmy the Mole? I'll take Sahili Rai. And we'll hope for a Feldar Guardian. This makes me sad because it's just a terrible Planeswalker. By itself. Hmm. I'll take Wooded Foothills. Wooded Foothills is probably significantly better than Chandra here. Especially if we can actually get some Shock Lands in this. And this multicolor. And this is okay. I think I'm gonna focus on the fixing, especially because this is a blue red card. 
Alesh Norn is practically a Planeswalker. So, uh, uh, along with Planeswalkers, we're also prioritizing fixing here because... You think only like Apex Predator is good in this cube? I, literally, I crushed yesterday with it. That guy was doing work. It kills Planeswalkers. This guy's basically a Planeswalker. I think we're taking Stomping Ground for the same reason. We have Wooded Foothills can get it. Nickel Bolas. Oh, yeah, we're living that dream. That's the ticket. That's the beautiful ticket. Okay, so we're going to be four colors. Five colors if we get... Because we already have Wooded Foothills and Stomping Ground. So green is obviously an option. Okay, well... You know what? Sure. This is not a coward's dream. Spell Queller, Freebooter. Hmm. We could be Jund lightly splashing blue and or white. I'll take Never Return if that's the case. Killing Planeswalkers is really where I want to be. This is not this is not a seven mana card. <laughs> let's let's be clear. Golos is an honorary planeswalker too, by the way. Come on, Super Fritz. Like I would, like I wouldn't know that. Like I would ever pass uh, a Golos in a draft that you've that you've supported. Hmm. Black Cleave Cliffs were isolated Chapel. We actually don't have any white yet. I think we're just gonna take the Cliffs, even though I do like Chapel a lot more. I mean, we definitely want black. We definitely want red so far. Uh, we have nothing that's white. And if we don't get Feldar Guardian, I, I, we can just pass on the white. No reason to go four colors here. Or five colors, rather. Hmm. Hmm. Liliana actually turns into a Planeswalker. Okay, sure. And we're obviously, like, I'm definitely leaning towards Jund here because we have... Double green, double red, triple black, double black, double black. So all the Jun lands should be priorities at this point with a uh, a slight lean towards blue, man, blue, blue lands that fix. So I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want. So tell me what I want. I want a zig zig Ah. Oh. We got mango nectar. It's delicious. Y'all ever drink water? Sometimes. I have been known to drink water every now and then. What about you, buddy? You ever drink water before? Tatiova? That's basically a planeswalker. This is not. Gatorade! Ooh, Lava Claw Reaches is nice. Uh, Vampire Nighthawk is fine. Definitely like it better than Ice Arrest. I just think I think Vampire Nighthawk is an unimpressive card, but it still gets work done sometimes. It's really surprising. I'll like deal eight damage with Vampire Nighthawk and gain eight life, and I'll keep their guys at bay. And it's just like for a card that's super unimpressive, like it just does a lot of work in the cube. It's really weird. Love struck beach, Golos. Show to go low, low, lows. I'm gonna take Golos, and I think if any of these three lands come back, I will be immensely grateful. Gatorade has the nutrients plants crave. It's true. Um, hmm. No plant. Uh, luck is not great. I think it's Verdant Catacombs here. Like we can get Stomping Ground with it, so it gets all three of our main colors right now. Godless Shrine, interesting. I like Sakura Tribuilder actually. It does fix for our 
our future. What is the black line on top of Golos? It's literally just from the green screen. Actually, Abrupt Decay is real good, too. I kind of like Abrupt Decay here. Conscripts is fine, but I'm really trying to limit the amount of uh, five drops I have, especially because with Planeswalkers, I know we're going to get more. Got to think, think toward the future. I'm going to take Abrupt Decay. Blood Crypt. I also like Maelstrom Pulse here. Yeah, I'm taking the Blood Crypt. I just want to have as much... Also, Hinterland Harbor is not terrible, but... Like, I'm, I, I'm having a real hard time passing any land we can search for. Turning our Wooded Foothills into a Black Source and also being able to get it with Verdant Catacomb is is nice. Or, uh, yeah, turning Wooded Foothills into a Black Source and Verdant Catacomb into a Red Source is pretty nice. Don't care about Tooth and Nail. Hmm... Karn could be fine, actually. Karn's actually good. It's a Planeswalker. Sure. How many Planeswalkers we got so far? One, two, three, four, five. Five plus a Golos. So half our, literally half our deck right now if Golos is 0.5. So it's like Planeswalker, 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 non-Planeswalker, and then right in the middle. So... Seems alright. When does not sure wake up from cryo sleep? I hope it's seen. What does that mean? I don't know what that even means. If you want my future, gotta break my past. It's an odd idiot. I haven't I haven't seen all of Idiocracy. Uh, Lumbering Falls is pretty good. No Planeswalkers here. Bitter Blossoms all right as well. Gilded Goose. I don't like the odds of having a green on turn one, but Lumbering Falls is nice because it turns a green mana into a blue mana for Tatiova, and we also do want fixing for Garrick. <laughs> We have eight fixing lands so far, which is really, really nice. <sighs> yeah, I've always heard nothing but good things about Idiocracy. Croxa is interesting. I don't think we're a Niv Misery Born deck, especially if we're avoiding white. I do like a braid. Interesting. I kind of feel like it's a braid here. Also, if you cast Croxa with Liliana Heretical Healer out, it will flip her. Resto's good, but we have zero fixing for white, so I'm definitely not looking for... I'm going to take Croxa, actually. I think Croxa's probably better. Fine Finality's good, so is Packrat. Extinction event also probably not bad. Hmm. I wonder if Packrat just wins the games here. My twelve year old son wants a gaming computer, he likes to stream on YouTube, but I don't want to fork over a ton of money. Recommend that's I mean, I've built my own computer every single time, so it's really hard to make like a recommendation to be like buy this. Woodland Cemetery came back. That's actually perfect. Yeah, the problem is that, like, I just don't know what to recommend, you know what I mean? Like, Snarky Zero, thank you for the sub-conversion. Really appreciate it, buddy. Because I just have no grasp on, like, retail PCs and stuff. Oh, Lucka came back. How Lucka? I actually kind of like Woe Strider here instead of the Lucka. I 
just I don't think it does anything in our deck. Elder Spell is interesting because we can actually kill our own Planeswalkers to ultimate our Nicobolas. I also kind of just like Hero Boxster, just like a dude that just kills. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse came back? Wow, that's phenomenal. I'm going to take this so no one else can have it. I just kind of like Oxidors because I, my, my big fear is Planeswalkers, which I guess Elder Spell kills, but also just her having Hero of Oxidors just nug them for a bunch is, is cool. Chris, good job. Thank you, buddy. Gary and Hazret. Wow. It's a lot of late red cards. Oh, wow. Euro, Consecrated Sphinx, Karn. Overgrown Tomb is nice. That leaves us with uh, Stomping Ground, Blood Crypt, and Overgrown Tomb. Wow. I actually don't think it's Euro. Double Blue seems difficult. So does Consecrated Sphinx. Karn and Lotus Cobra seem great. Lotus Cobra is also fixing for, like, the random blue we might need. Jeez. This pack is bananas. I mean, I'll take the Karn. Super fit say Karn. Oh, a Nissa, huh? Well, that's cool. Also a Chandra and another Nissa. This is another pack where I'm like, well, if any of these come back, I'll be grateful. I, honestly, I just don't think we have the forests to really take advantage of this. Like, we have literal stomping ground, and we're hoping for forests. I think it is Chandra. For the same reason, this is like, I, I don't know how many forests we're going to have, so. This isn't even the best Chandra. It's an okay Chandra. I like, I like Robert. Robert Nix. Also, if Dryad... Oh, but there's also Felidar Guardian. Ugh, God, and we have, like, no... We have literal no way to cast it. We have no white sources whatsoever. Hmm. I think we just abandon this and just go Jun Planeswalkers. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Oh! Oh, my God. Someone clip it, please, and, and, and show me that I literally try to take the Obnixilis... That's really annoying. Golos. Can you imagine if we if we hit Golos and then we flip both Feldar Guardian and Sahili off of it? That'd be kind of cool. Dragonlord Silumgar. That guy's kind of like a planeswalker. Assassin's Trophy is nice. We have Abrupt Decay already. Yeah, take Dragonlord Silumgar. Sure. I think most people get cats accidentally. Uh, Lotus would have been fine, but, like, once we have five mana, like, we only need one more mana to cast our top end. It's not like we're casting Ulamogs or, like, eight mana spells. Creeping Tar Pit. 
Oh boy. Pop a like. I really feel like this is just a terrible mispick. Soul Dial. This Elspeth is phenom phenomenal. I think it's actually... It might just be Ravenous Chupacabra here. Although Triome is real good. Jeez. What, do we have 20 cards? And we have like a bunch left. I think we can hit three more playables for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking the Triome. I, I just think it's it's much better for us, right? Like it, it lets us it lets us search with Wooded Foothills, Verdant Catacombs, uh, for a blue source, which is really strong. Vraska, oh yeah, Vraski, oh yeah, big Vraska. Um, Jade Light Ranger is probably fine. Noxious Gearhulk's nice, but we have four six drops already. Mm, the overgrown tomb is coming back, boys. That's pretty sweet. Well, this pack's pretty rough. Um, Fiend Artisan. Okay, sure. I mean, paying six mana for a Golos or seven mana for a, a Dragon Lord Silimgar with Fiend Artisan is probably fine. Really? You think so? I mean, we have Lumbering Falls, Overgrown, Stomping Ground, Verdant Catacomb, Wooded Foothill, Woodland Cemetery, and Zagoth Triome in our fixing already. That's seven green sources. Plus, we'll probably have like two forests. One, two, three, four, five. We have 12 lands here. I wanted that Lotus Cobra to come back, but that pack was pretty stacked, so... <laughs> See, that's kind of funny. Obnixil is coming back is kind of funny. The problem is we have no white sources. And I'm still taking Obnixilus. Like, without any white sources, like, it's really hard to... to... to Golos. Right? Yeah, I'll take Power Cleansing. It's a sweeper. I don't actually hate Olivia Voldaren, to be honest. I want to take Burst Lightning. I think the removal is pretty relevant. None of these fix white is the problem. What, like, we have no white fixing whatsoever. And this is 25, so I think we just get rid of Sahelian Felidar Guardian. Which is unfortunate, but... I mean, we could literally just play, like, one planes, to be honest. It's not great, especially with, like, Nicobolus and... But, like, not being able to ever activate Golos is also pretty, pretty sad. On the bright side, Vraska does make treasures. So that's interesting. Look at all these manas. Sort by color. Colares. Let's go to properties. Give it an analysis. I'm glad we stayed away from white. Going four colors here seems <coughs> a little more reasonable. Okay. Sort by for mana cost. So these are our Okay, so blue three, black. Actually, we're not writing down the mana we have, or uh, in the deck, we're writing the amount of mana we need. So blue we have, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. See, that's great, six natural sources of blue. I'm pretty sure we can add one island just to like search for it if we have a way to do that. Um, black, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also very good. Green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And we still get five lands. So. 
I don't think we need a red. Maybe we do. Hmm. The problem is the only way to search for white is Golos. So, like, it's not realistic to play this. Because as soon as we get Golos, we're searching for the white to activate Golos. Okay, so... Blue, we only have six. I don't think we actually need a blue source, to be honest. We can't search for an island anyway. So I think we're going to go... One... Two, three... There's eight sources of this, nine sources of this, ten sources of this. I kind of just want the planes for the Golos. I think activating Golos is real strong. I could see two forests as well, but you need to keep in mind that every forest we draw makes Nicol Bolas worse. It's one further away from casting Nicol Bolas. We have a lot of double black. We have a lot of double red and, and several double green too. But like we have a lot of sources. Like this is 10, 9, 8. Eight sources, of, keep in mind again, eight sources of green is the number you're going to have if green is your secondary source in any draft. So eight is a, a solid number. And it's it's like the number you're going to have in any two color deck in, in a regular limited draft. So I think it's one of these and another black. And I kind of want to play 41 with 18 lands. All right, we're doing it. I really can't wait till they add. I wish they I wish they waited. Like they're releasing this at the same time as Zendikar. I wish they actually put these Zendikar cards in this. Have you thought about giving up? Ooh, ah, ooh. What song is this? It's you listen to the news, right? Every single day. Is it you listen to the news? Oh, we need to keep uh in mind our our searchable lands. Darude Sandstorm. <laughs> Nailed it. Chris, how's work been? Tell me about your job, Christopher. Well, I'm just mumbling because I figured it was a very, very uh, recognizable tune. I should actually play this first. I say I forgot that we had the triome, and now I just want to triome next turn. Try it ohm for size, because it gets us a black source, which we definitely need, uh, and it gets us a blue source. So, it's happy to be stuck with you. That is correct. Yes. Josh nailed it. Well, today I created product pages for a bunch of promo pack cards that are found in Zeneca Rising promo packs and did a peer review for someone who was higher on the chain of command than me. So that was that's always kind of intimidating, right? Oh uh, yeah, I guess we're doing a good job. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> Happy to be pack rat with me. All right, well, we put 18 lands in the deck. Let's see if we whiff. I'm really happy to be stuck with you. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Look, we did. We got stuck on lands. Good times. 
I mean, we could play Woe Strider. We can also just discard it for the Pack Rat. And we want to do it now because if they discard a card, they can. They like. They, they I guess they can't. I guess they're gonna have to play a creature first. It's really upsetting that we miss land drops in our. We like. I'm gonna play 18 lands so I don't get mana screwed. First game, mana screwed. No, Nifty Chris works at Card Kingdom, not uh, Wizards. Or should I say Mox Boarding House? You should say that. Okay, missed the land drop again. Like, one thing they can do now is actually, like, block, activate Quagmire with itself, and then sack the Quagmire. I can't see. That you're happy to be stuck with me. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, I've actually been to Morrow's house several times, funny enough. No, they activate Quagmire with itself. They tap the Quagmire for the green. And then they just sacrifice it after blocks to kill a 3-3 rat and draw a card. I don't necessarily know if that would be worth it for them. I mean, it might be. It, it kills their land. They do need to draw a card from it. Um, put two cards into your graveyard. Hmm. I'm going to put the mountain into your graveyard for sure. Any land lets us cat lets them cast this next turn, and they can cast Murderous Cut this turn. And this is a land, so I, I'm almost tempted to give them Cryptic Mountain here. Like they still need a, a a third blue. I guess they get that automatically when this flips. <sighs> it's tricky. I think we just get the mountain murderous cut. Ugh. I mean, they could literally murderous cut here, which is... Oh, they didn't. Okay. Love is what I got. I should remember that. That was sublime. <laughs> Thought about <laughs> fucking amazing. Wow. Cool. Bounce a rat, counter the trigger, make a copy of Torrential Gear Hulk. That's fucking insane. I'm just going to the next game. <laughs> That's absolutely bullshit. Okay. Sounds good. Well, ideally, we can draw more than three lands in six turns, but, you know, 
Sometimes 18 lands just isn't enough, guys. 18 lands, just not enough. What can you do? I should have filled up my juice container. Two lands. As many six drops as lands. I'm going to keep it because wooded foothills. And a third, like if we can hit any third land, we should be able to hit a fourth land. He does have the news. All right, now we're going to get the triome just immediately. Okay. See, the pro play would have been playing Stomping Ground tapped. But I don't mind keeping Abrupt Decay up here. Okay, nothing, huh? Every day. What is this, Teamer? Okay. Every single day, yeah. <sighs> Tap land, huh? Bottom. Land? <laughs> Three lands again. And we scried one. Two games in a row with 18 lands. Boy. Oh, look, a fourth land for our opponent. Every single day, yeah. Thank jeez. One, two, three. Four? I mean, there's no way this guy doesn't get countered, right? Oh, yeah, they're highlighting it. Oh, it resolved. I don't want them to have like a lightning bolt, lightning helix, or lightning strike, first lightning, any kind of lightning. Because next turn, let's play the Brasco or Nickel Balls. You like 80s stuff like me? Have you watched Josh Gad's YouTube series Reunited Apart? I have not. <sighs> cool. So got blue, black, red, black. We just need another black source. I mean, it doesn't matter if we negative one or plus one there. Draw two, still no. F missing three land drops. Just phenomenal. We do have black, red, black, red, black, so we can bring this guy back next turn. It's four, right? Five? Okay, we need one more card. Fetch land would be nice, I guess, for multiple reasons. Yep. So, missed three land drops. 
and first game we did not hit more than three lands one two three four five six seven 18 lands cool <laughs> yeah you got it What are the odds they counter this? 300 percent. Oh, wow. So six drop, six drop, six drop, five drop. We have drawn as many six drops nearly as 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 we have lands. Kind of comical. play a really innocuous spell assuming they have torrential gear hulk or sublime epiphany I mean, I think it's Inferno Titan here, awkwardly enough. Raska and, and Dragonlord Salemgar seem strong. They're considering gifts I'm giving? No. Yogmoth. Who gives a shit? Is there a cryptic command? Oh, wow. Look at the lands now. That just resolved immediately. <sighs> I thought I had crack, but yeah, it's the I it's not the edge, it's just the middle portion of the green screen. I kind of just like leaving it up there to troll you guys sometimes because, God, it tilts you guys a lot. Did you hear in Frank's stream he likes deliberately tilting his viewers? He's the worst. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get that K command back. Toxic streamer. God, he's pulling like a... It's such a long prank on everybody. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thought about giving up. They have five cards in hand, we have none. We have Crocs, I guess. Interesting. They don't have anything? That, how does that real? One, two, three, four, five. Croxa himself. We have, well, have two cards left. We can keep Woe Strider and something else. One, two, three, four. Rocks, uh, get rid of 
Inferno, Dragon, Nickel, Hero, and Wooded. I mean, I'm sure they have Cryptic or Sublime Epiphany and they're trying to figure out their modes here. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm probably not going to drive eight hours to Logan on Saturday for some modern, unfortunately. Yep. And Sublime Epiphany it is. Sounds good. Oh, uh, no, I was actually in Logan. I was never in Ogden. I'm in Colorado now. That's a search for his content that I don't care about. My parents spent all summer in Logan at some college for old people. Wow. Any chance of you getting to the LLC for a match? Uh, no, not really. Just because someone's in the same very, very large metropolitan area, like, doesn't mean we get together. Oh, Metamorph copying Pirate? What? That's pretty good, actually. Three, four, five, six. <whistles> I'm happy to be stuck with you. Got him, got him, got him, got him. So they take five, they go to three. And we have Chandra and a, and a Vraska in our hand. So they're dead to Chandra. That's pretty okay. Even if they bounce it, we just get to re replay it. I thought about giving up. I don't know why they call... I, I really don't know why they call Andrew Beckstrom BK. Because I think of Brian Kowal every time I hear BK because that's actually what they call Brian Kowal. But like... <laughs> I wouldn't get Beckstrom. I would get BS. If X is 10 or more, return all... Of course. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, of course. Of course you have this. Of course... Wait, what happened? They copied a treasure token. This is wild. I don't know what's going on here. They didn't copy the Torrential Gear Hulk? what's going on this is a weird series of plays why not copy the torrential gear hulk and then like flashback cryptic and sublime epiphany i feel like that's got to be decent like bounce lava claw chandra 
Return an online permanent, Chandra, sure. Create a token that's a copy of a creature you control. Sure. Draw a card. You got it. Remember that time I was like, man, we're in a good position? <laughs> and then they played Finale for 12 mana? Man, my kingdom for a six, seven, eight. Cast this for six. My kingdom for a um burst lightning is what I'm thinking of here. Team J, bro. What up, buddy? Welcome back. So it goes to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'd have two. So we can actually go Vraska, kill a thing, use the clues to play Liliana. Sure. I don't. I have no idea why they copied Frexy Metamorph for the treasure instead of a Torrential Gear Hulk on board, but. Seems good. Can we get lucky enough for them to attack? And forget about the Chandra and have nothing? Is that a thing we can do? single day we've had our ups and downs thought about giving up ooh, ah, ooh. wow it must be nice to have 14 mana and be able to play all your things sure No attacks, huh? Yikes. It's really fucking annoying. That's amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, activate. Actually, I think we can win the game here, to be honest with you. So, keep up. Red, black, black. Yeah, let's just win the game. Uh, 
Oh, he died. Black, red, red, black. See you later. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty wild. Wow. That was... That was spicy. Literally had to have... Lava Claw Reaches get killed. I mean, even if they don't kill it, like, they just die to it. So, like, all of their blockers being lethal. <clears throat> what they... Oh, see, they actually could have played around it. They could have actually blocked with the Torrential Gear Hulk and then sacked their Gear Hulk so it doesn't kill them. So, misplay on their part. But they also had to see that. And they did not. To be fair, that's a very subtle line. Like... I don't think we can keep this hand. <sighs> this one, however, I'm on board with. I will keep. Put Karn back. I mean, it's not great because we can't cast Jade Light Ranger in any amount of time, but we do have a turn two Croxa. I mean, I guess that's not super exciting, but they did mulligan. So. Every single day. Yeah. Well, next turn they could just keep a non-land card in their hand. Elder Spell. Ooh. They know about the tech. I like it. So, any green sources will play Jade Ranger. Otherwise, we can just play Karn. That's pretty bad. I, I assume this is going to be the first time we get hit with the turn 4 Cryptic Command. While we have all our lands. So the one game we're like playing on curve is the turn they have Cryptic Command is my guess. Choose those modes. Gifts ungiven. Everyone literally thinks they have a crack on their screen. That's hilarious. I don't even know where it is. It's like back it's this way. It's over here. I have no idea where it is. Okay. Wow. Actually, we can let them keep Elder Straborn and make a construct. Obnixilis is Thank also you. fine. I think Karanos and Nicobolus are the scariest ones here. Nicobolus kills Planeswalkers, right? Yeah, Obnixilis is fine. They'll draw a card, we'll kill it. Elder Straborn is fine, we'll sack a construct. Um, the graveyard cards, Nicobolus and Karanos. Sure, so we know you have... I mean, they still drew two very good cards. J-Link, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude.
Oh, wow. That's not bad. So now we're just trying to make their, their Eldest Reborn not super useful. <clears throat> While Karn keeps us alive. I have a crack on my screen. A butt crack. You're a butt crack, Frank. Got him. Ha! Got him! God damn. So that's actually pretty good. Um, one, two, three, four. We can Shut untap. Up and take my money. Three. Whose money am I taking? Team K, bro. Team K, bro. He reminding you to vote for me as state comp troll. <laughs> See that shit's funny. Um, I don't think we care about nickel bolus just yet. I'm just gonna have plus five here, and by plus five I mean plus one, two, five. Oh, we're gonna give keep giving us lands. So now we can play nickel bolus. Six. We can either play Garrick, untap Jade Light, or we can just play Inferno Titan. I kind of like playing Inferno Titan and just discarding Jade Light Ranger. But then if they have Metamorph, it's pretty good. Eh. Like, if they have Storm's Wrath, then Garrick and Jade Light is pretty bad. So it really just depends on what we play around. I guess we're just going to play Inferno Titan, and if they have the other one, we can kill it. Like, they deal three to Karn, and that's fine. Did you see the Dreamhaven announcement yet? I don't even know what that is. Dreamhaven? <laughs> Team K bro here. I don't know, man. I think I'd like... Uh, I, I think I'd vote for... Yeah, I think Jade Light Ranger is weaker than the other two, so... sending an eBay message to someone. <clears throat> Which is fine, because... Holy crap, so it's this new game studio they got announced today. It has a stacked employee roster. Interesting. Chris, give me some give me some hits from it. They have four cards in hand. We have two. Mike Morheim? That's interesting. That's like one of the only people I recognize on the list, to be honest with you. Gilded Lotus. That's your play, Gilded Lotus. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. How much damage can we deal here? Six. One, two, three, four, activate, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. That's a lot. Creature or Planeswalker from any graveyard onto the battlefield. They can get Ob, Nicol Bolas, Karanos. That is interesting. We don't have a way to deal with artifact, that artifact, right? Wait a minute, hold on. Six, seven, nine, twelve, twelve. I'm trying to figure out if we can win this turn. I don't think we can. Like, I was thinking of Garrick. Untap to Nicol Bolas. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd have nine mana, so that'd be all of that. Nickel Bolas, we can ultimate Garrick. But then we only have Inferno Titan out here. Oh, interesting. Ben Thompson did the art for Serum Visions. That's interesting. Is this like a branch off of like... I mean, again, they're putting Garrick and Nicol Bolas on the board. Actually, if we plus Nicol Bolas, it's probably fine, right? Okay, I clicked on it. There we go. So we have to go one, two, three, four, untap two, black, 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 red, blue. Just has to be an untapped land of any of any kind. We have four black, two blue, two red, two green. So we can go one, two, three, four, activate. Three, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We can put them to three. Actually pretty impressive. I wonder if they have Cryptic Command mana up here. Interesting. So black, interesting, does not look like it. The top two cards of your library, an opponent chooses one. So they can literally go Obnixilis, kill this guy, Storm's Wrath, kill two Planeswalkers. We still have Lumbering Falls. I don't know. This is gonna be this is gonna be a turn. Storm's Wrath is very good, and I'm very scared of it right now. Their own Nicobolus. Oh my god, they're going to have Elder Spell and they're just going to kill us here. Fuck. That's a really discouraging. Well, more power to you, I guess. No, it's in the graveyard. Hmm. Okay. And you can't Torrential Gear Hulk because it's sorcery. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. It's still pretty good. There's no plus twos, though, so that's good. Yeah, all right. So they have to get rid of our Nicol Bolas and get this guy to eight. God, this is game one? Jesus. It's taking like a year. It's so grindy. I thought about giving up. I can sell a card from your hand or a permanent you control. Um, swamp. Three cards. 
What can they be in your hand right now? This is game three. I meant round one. What did I say? Game one? Whatever. Where's the rat conductor? Buddy, I'm the rat con I'm the rat conductor. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got, got to call, call on the rat, rat train? train. <laughs> okay, two to Garrick and we discard a card. Sure. Okay, this is two, three, 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 two, six, seven, eight, seven. And game seven three six seven seven two three three two. Okay. All right, your second turn, my dude. Thank you, Dillon Mace. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Destroy a creature. Okay, so you're just killing my nickel bolus. Sounds good. Again, Time Warp cannot be hit by Torrential Gear Hulk, which is reassuring. Um, okay. That's interesting. If they have Cryptic Command, they're going to tap down my team. And I don't really need the... And here it is. They also have three minutes to win this game. Oh, they're gonna... Five mana. What is this? It's a weird time to be taking your... To, to be messing up with the mana. Oh, we're gonna go to combat. Attack your face. Two and one. Like I say, ain't nobody hanging out without a pig face. I, I have heard you say that before, actually. God, Dylan Mace would go around saying that all the time. I was like, Dylan, what does that mean? And he was like, you wouldn't understand. And I was like, okay. Okay, returning this to the hand. What are they doing? They're countering my triggered ability. Bouncing it to my hand. And that's it, right? I don't know the modes. I don't know the modes they've chosen. That's really frustrating. Okay. Um, so I can just replay it? We had our ups and downs. Actually, that's seven, so we can go this. Untap these two. Replay Inferni, two and one. Still kill that idiot. Okay, sure. We do have Crocs in here. Let's not forget about Croxa. Croxa.
I mean, they have a minute and 50 seconds. We're at 19. I feel like we're in good shape. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is only 9 mana. They can't go no finale nonsense. But they are playing all 9. 5? Sure. What? Wait, what? <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Ron! Good games. Oh, wow, we did it. Wow, that was... Good lord. Wow, that was wild. That was a match, man. Woo! <clears throat> Woo! Every single day, Michael B. Michael B. Yeah, so I think that the takeaway that I've discovered from this format, uh, whether it's correct or not, I'm not sure. But you don't want to dirtle around with like one for one bullshit. Like two for ones are really where you want to be. Like planeswalkers, cards that draw you a card. Stuff like that. Sword Equip, what up? You know, it'd be great here. I think a Triome? But also just like a Fetch Land or something. Stomping Ground? Something? Because then it lets Woodland Summoner come and play untapped, then we have at least three plays before we need fourth mana. <laughs> Guessing you're the real pro. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good times. I'm telling I'm telling my wife. Well, tell her I said hi. You know, like you do. Um, we're just gonna play this because next time we can go Croxa and Pack Rat on the turn we play Lumbering Falls or either one. M A S T E R E. Sure. Now the stomping ground shows up. So we can actually play Woe Strider here. I think it might just be better Croxa. Because if we if we play Croxa here, next turn we can Hero, which is kind of cool. Yeah, we'll just Lumbering Falls. Always yield to these Crox abilities. I still have happy to be stuck with you in my head. Happy to be stuck in my head is more like it. Get in there. Pump it. Here of Oxeter is doing some work, boy. Here comes Conclave Tribunal. Nahiri. Well, biscuits. Probably just gonna kill Nahiri. I mean, that's a fair play. Like it's, it's like if we played paid four mana for like Vraska's Contempt on Nahiri. Oh, that's a good one. That one I like. That's another one I like. This is my friend Ob. Obert Nixilis. He comes from accounting. Well, we get to Silumgar next turn. That's not even one of the Back to the Future. I don't know if the other songs are older than that, really. It's a lot of planes. And they discarded the planes. It's like Mono White with Coalition Relic and Rootbound Crag. Wow, triple green. Good grief.
Oh, we're taking it and then we're drawing three. I can see. Now we have seven cards in hand, two planeswalkers. They might just get this guy back, which is fine. We have burst lightning for it. So we drew the cards. Oh, that's that's not what you're looking for. Oh, and oh, oh no. Oh boy. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go down to five. We can actually relic seeker here. Kill the relic. That's a relic to seek. Three, four, five, six. And we also get a clue to keep up burst lightning in case they are able to get rid of our dragon lord. I think this might be game. Play tar pit. Draw a card. So you just have to fixing in planes I'm like, yeah, it's not terrible. I'm really I'm kind of afraid of condemn here. I just don't think it's worth getting in three when they could have condemn. I mean we have plenty of pressure to apply outside of Dragon Lord Solomgar, so. This is actually four color buck buck. <laughs> Just so you guys are clear. I don't want any confusion. That's fine. Sometimes when my hair gets a little longer, like I, I start missing the part. And like I'll have some long strands on this side and it just like... It just tilts me to no end. Why can't see me? Go you know, lots of things. Make a guy. Make a guy. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, Gary. Untap these two. Draw a card. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Play, okay, we're just going to... I was going to play Tatsiova, play Blood Crypt Untapped, and then Burst Lightning their Hunt Master. Well, our deck is sweet, so... What can you do? We didn't see anything, really. I guess we just submit. We've had our ups and downs. Our sideboard's pretty non-existent except for Pyroclasm. And the Sahili combo in the sideboard. Oh, this hand's fantastic. We have double black and double green. Fudge. This is like the best hand we've had yet. And both of these can come and play untapped. Come on. Give me a Croxa and we'll call it a day. And we're up to K. And we're up to K and call it a D. You getting it now with the buck bucket. <laughs> Team Jonathan, I've I've enjoyed having you in the chat the past few days, buddy. Hmm. 
fascinating. I don't actually have a ton of things to play during their turn. So I'm kind of just... I'm kind of just interested in killing this. Killing this doesn't do anything. It just replaces a 2-2 with a 2-2. But I'd rather, like, get their, their one drop off. Because they didn't have a three drop last turn, so I assume they didn't have one this turn. Yeah, we're going to play Jade Light first because I want to be able to hit lands. Or or get rid of cards that are not lands. Oh my god. Oh man. Living the dream. Draw two off of Jade Light. Still blocks both of these. Knight of the Reliquary? Alright. I will 100% block. God, we're at 13, though. <laughs> Every single day. So if we put Garrick down to 2, we can block here, but then he still dies. I kind of like Nighthawk Creeping Tarpit, and next turn we can play Tatiova. But if we play Garrick this turn, next turn we'll have land, we'll have Tatiova plus... Like, we can go untap our, our four, play Tatiova, then play land. If he survives. Feels correct? Because they might also just not trade their... They might trade not trade their knight. Either way, we still have two more plays. Three more plays next turn. No, two more plays. Yeah, I can also see next turn having six mana going Nighthawk into Never. Oh, see, we don't get to we don't get attacked this turn, which is kind of nice. So they have one, two, three, four. They'll have five mana. I mean, if we get to untap, go Tatiova, land, it's pretty decent. I mean, we could also go Vampire Nighthawk and... No, we can't because we only have four. Yeah, we can. Five, six. Yeah, we'd still have six. I also enjoyed the, the Living the Dream Cube. Cord for three. Thalia. Sure. Hmm. Well, we can never Thalia. Play Nighthawk. We can also play Vraska Kill. But then we have to untap a land to do it. One, two, three. Like, Tatiova untap doesn't do anything. It just puts Tatiova tapped. One, two, three. Kill this. One, two, three. Nighty boy. Creepy boy. And I also have two cards in hand, so that's pretty okay. I feel like our hand is just stacked right now, but... <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven, seven total mana. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Now the rotor clock is still not interesting. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. You can play Tatior for five, untap three. That doesn't do anything else. Huh. Could play Vraska for six, kill this. Or seven, rather. Is that the best we can do? Hmm. How much do I care about... I guess we're killing Knight of the Reliquary, right? So... Okay, and yeah, we can just pass here. Blockers for days. And they have two cards. Oh, good games. Oh man, we're crushing it, dude. Yeah, these four color decks have definitely been the decks with like tons of Planeswalkers and card advantage have definitely been the uh, most successful of my decks. And that says a lot. I'll keep this just because of the color distribution. Like, this feels like a healthy colored hand. Of course, the island and the forest mean we can't cast Nicol Bolas if we don't draw additional lands, but... I mean... Did my advice help or hurt? The buck buck is never the yuck yuck. So far, it has been... Yum yum, rather than yuck yuck. I mean, it's funny, Jerry, you've been in the chat for both of the drafts where I've, like done well with this this type of deck so watch them go blood crypt and then we're like oh no the mirror match oh i don't care about that give me something to play that's not it nope don't like that no don't like that let's go put you over the six drops See, now they're going to give us a 4-drop, but they're also going to give us something to kill here. Yep. So, it's the best 4-drop here. So, her tribe rather in the trash. Where's Polukronos going? Into the hand? Into the hand of the trash. Into the hand. Okay, good to know. I'm, like, I'm going to keep this in my hand. Slim, Slim Lumgar. So, this is 4 damage. I think we just have to Maelstrom Pulse it, but I don't love it. But if we draw black, we do have Obnixilus to kill Pelucranos. If we draw any land after that, we have 3 6 drops in our hand, so that's good. All of which we can cast. We have black, green, double red, and black, blue. And here comes Pelucranos. No! Give me a swamp, please. Black land, one time. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> We're going to kill this. If they want to take a turn to Lumbering Falls, that's fine. We can drop Frasco or Inferno Titan, and I don't know if the green-blue deck is going to have many ways to deal with that. This is like a one-of in our deck. <laughs> Ask for a swamp, and there it is. Oh, fascinating. 
Oh, they're not attacking Ob. That's wild. Holy smokes, that is... Wow, giving us a turn with Ob is fantastic. Because he would never draw a swamp on demand. Super Fritz, do we Golos here? What do you think, bruh? Do we Golos get our forest? Or get our plains, rather? Hmm. Fascinating. Yes. Single planes. <laughs> Extravate it. You get an active. Extravate it. <laughs> Extravate it, and you get an extravate it. Ten bucks. I'm in. Ten buck bucks. I'm in. Come on, don't kill it. Don't be like this. You gonna banishing light it? I got Varaska. That's fine. That's not. It. That, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. We're going to do it. It's going to happen. Oh, they hit a land. Got it. Got it. Got a forest. Maybe I have Whew. I mean, all the six drops are in our hands, so, you know, you got me as far as a good Golos hits, but I'm in it to win it. Okay. Got that out of the way. Seven. It, they have two cards in hand. It might just be better to deal with this right now, and be honest. <sighs> like, kill this, maybe. Steal this and negative it. Karn would be a good hit. I'm just afraid of whiffing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just, I mean, they have two cards, so I kind of want to keep them out of, like, out of the game. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can do this for. If they had a land, they can do it for four. Which doesn't kill either creature. I guess it kills this. And then we have to block with something. But then, like this. Um. Thank you. Oh, what up, Mark? Welcome back, my dude. <laughs> no! Jay, bro, I'm so sorry, man. I don't think I was afraid. I was petrified. I kept thinking... Uh, I think we just kill this, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, our hand, having this Nissa and having Golos on board, like, they have to deal with this and this for us to give a shit. I'm actually not attacking because I don't want to give them an extra card. They have two cards and I just kind of want to minimize whatever they can do next turn because us untapping into Golos is real strong. I mean, either of these are strong. I kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. Mm. On the bright side, it is an artifact. So, they're going to steal our Solomgar? Hmm. Braska can kill that. No, well, it still can. That's pretty good. That was a good play. Oh, boy. We still have Raska to kill this one. So that's fine. And they get a Sun Pilgrim. Grove. Cool. Don't care about that. Okay, they have no cards in hand. Solid. All 
right, destroy the one that has my Golos. Should it go low, low, lows? I mean, Vraska does die, but that's life. Say Golos would hit a crummy land. Real top card. What is it? It's a ban. Banishing Light. Top two are Vivian Reed, Banishing Light. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. Man, we were so in control of this game until they started drawing literal bomb after bomb. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, so we can go one, two, three, three, light. Chandra. Just kill this idiot. I think it's two and one. Because if they want to make an Ashaya, they have to kill this first. Wow, this game was going wonderfully up until the point where... Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. You say you top decked a creature that's worth negative twoing this for. Sounds good. Doesn't kill anything relevant, I guess. And you're gonna get two, one or two drop. What one or two drop is better than just making a three three and plusing this? Charming Prince. Oh, blink this. Fuck. Oh. <sighs> and, and, uh, my kingdom for an artifact removal spell. Hit up Muldrifter. <laughs> Dear God. I'm surprised you wouldn't just play it off the top first. Why wouldn't you play it off the... Sure. It's fine. So we're drawing Inferno Titan? Huh. Maybe we can wipe the board. Sure. Or we're not, we're drawing, I, didn't, I said, they say we're in, drawing Inferno Titan. We're drawing Chandra. I don't know why I said Inferno Titan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <sighs> yep. And in comes Metamorph. Copy Inferno Titan, kill Jade Light Ranger. Is 
they know we're drawing Chandra. You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron! Oh my god. What? Pay one. Three kills, 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 kills. What? Oh my god, that's the greediest thing I've ever seen in my life. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We could almost actually kill them, which is kind of funny. But I don't want to, like, lose Chandra just to this Lumbering Falls. So I actually think I'm keeping this back and just attacking... Attacking Nyssa and then one and two... So this could have been 6, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Assuming we have 6 red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it would have been... Now we would have used 1, 2, one, two red for Chandra. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13, 15. We would have been dealt 16. Wow. Yes, copying Inferno Titan would have left me with two creatures, a Shia and Inferno Titan, but it also would have left them with, like, an Inferno Titan if I Chandra. So, like, that's insane. Maybe they didn't notice the Chandra? I mean, that's good, but... If I Alpha, they trade... 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's lethal if, if they have nothing, but they have four cards. Sure, that's good. Get rid of a Shia, maybe? Get rid of Chandra? Just replay it. That's cute. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to go one and two, right? So that they can't block this. That's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. They can block Lumbering Falls. But block Lumbering Falls. Six. 13, 14, 15. We're like one shy of just murdering them. They also probably just block Inferno Titan at that point. Did I move? Yeah, well, I mean, I mean Mike, Mike has lived with me for the past three months. He just has a job, so it's hard for him to be at the house during working hours. If they block here, they take four, five, six, seven. If they block here, they take six, seven, eight, nine. Do I care about the two damage here? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, they actually have to block Inferno Titan, I think. One, two, three, four. Lumbering Falls. One at their. Attack you, attack you, and attack you. If they block here, they have to block here. If they block here, they take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. 1 and 2. Yep, that's what they have to do. Okay. Classic Mike. Well, what up, Nicky boy? They're doing the math. 
Yeah, this is good. This is a good tax. Mike and his so-called job. Oh, I got a job. I can't come to your little stream anymore. Whatever, Michael. Just get your life together. Oh, that's literally what I'm doing. Oh, I don't understand. Whatever, Michael. Get it together. Oh, just a good old-fashioned... Good old fashioned time warp playing on the radio. Tatiova. <laughs> Got land? They have like seven cards left in their library. I have 23. Jesus. I mean, they, they I guess they drew four from Mole Drifters. Got a bunch of lands from Solomon Knight of the Reliquary. I mean, there are five cards in their deck, and we're at 19. They're at four cards in their deck and we're at 19. We know a Chandra is coming up in like two cards. I'm only here to say hello. That is it. Nothing else. Just hello. You're getting nothing else from me. Brian. Hello. Hello. Go block here? Probably. Okay, well. <sighs> exhausting. Absolutely exhausting. I guess we'd have this guy for this. What, they didn't attack? What are they doing? What in, in the earth is happening right now? Do you have Croxa in here? No, okay. I, I don't know how they win in three turns. Like when we can block Dream Trawler, Dream Trawler's going to draw them a card, Tatiova draws them a card. 5, 6, and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Where's all their lands that were in the graveyard that they sacrificed to? Did they get shuffled in or something? Why are they still playing lands? Okay. This is wild. Wait, the Night of the Reliquary match was last round. <laughs> Never mind. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, they go to one card. So Dream Trawler's bigger now than he will be next turn. So they actually can't draw with the clue. So we're taking four, five, six, seven, eight. Playing on the radio. Block you. Six. Block you. Oh, they just conceded. Okay. <laughs> They're like, I can't win next turn. Oh, plus we had this Chandra coming down. Totally forgot about that. Guys, I feel like Pyroclasm is actually pretty good here. What do we do about that? Do we have anything? I wish we took the. I wish we had the braid. That was game one. We're three minutes ahead, which is nice. Hero of Oxid Ridge is probably meh. We can take that shit bird out. It also dies to the pyroclasm, so. Tazim? I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> What's Tazim? What are you saying right now? Tasm? Oh, Clasm and Tasm. I see what you're saying. Nick, have a good night, buddy. I hope you get all the sleep your little heart desires. I hope you sleep soundly. Like a little baby banana. 
in a blanket. Hero of Oxid Ridge is so much worse than Hero of Bladehold. It's not even close. We got two toughness? Please. Get out of my face. Oh, this hand looks gas. We got Burst Lightning Mana, Abrupt Decay Mana, Ghost Rider Mana, Ghost Rider Mana. Oh, that thing's dead. I want to play this first, but there's no way I'm like. <laughs> Let's see what you do. <laughs> gotta go for it right yep I mean the problem with this is like even though you know I paid two for this A I could be bluffing and B you have to go for it anyway like you just you just have to Jade Light's very good Solemn oh you're keeping that okay like it. Whoa, Strider. I like to see a complete hero cycle. I don't think I, I just don't think they're on brand. Like because red and and white are the heroes from Mirrodin. Like Boros the Boros colors were the, the Mirrodins. And everything else was infect, black, green, and blue. So it would be you probably would never see black, green, and blue heroes. Because they're the bad guys. I will definitely block your creature that has better stats than mine. Yeah, I'm keeping that on top. This deck is land hungry. Solemn Simulacrum. I love Hero of Priest Saint 1. Whatever, you fucking nerd. I'm gonna rock down to Electric Avenue. Doo -doo -doo, then we take it higher. Out in the streets, there are top hits. <laughs> That's a fucking good one. So we can go blank, blank, blank. try to kill this thing. I mean, we can just run them out of cards and then Dragonlord and Silum Guard. You got it. I guess you've got hex proof now. I guess we can't run them out of cards because it draws cards. Yeah, I hate this card so much. Put random heroes in modern horizons too. Problem solved. That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. Bane Slayer Angel is a cool card. What if there's a Bane Slayer Angel that drew you cards and also protected itself with hexproof? Well, that seems like a great idea. So is it a mythic, you think? No, this is pretty rare. Rare, really? Yeah, it was only a rare. <sighs> Genius. 
Yep, that's that's good too. Also, now we get to keep our roast rider, roast rider, or roast rider in our, our never return, so that's nice. Yeah, so on the other hand, we get hit by this for another turn, and they get to draw two two more cards. So, uh, Franco, well, Dream Trawler only draws you one card. Yeah, but they still draw a card for their turn. So, oh God, Dream Trawler, more like shit trawler. Oh my god, let me steal that and block Dream Trawler. I guess Dream Trawler kills my Dragon Lord Cylinder at that point. That's unfortunate. <laughs> hugh, 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 hugh. Good times. So we lost a Dream Trawler. That's cool. That's good. I'm having a good time. We also have 18 lands still. So... Lifelink flying hexproof. It's a good deal. Yeah, keep this hand. We get lumbering into forest into this. Yeah, it went to six. We do need a red source. Uh, I am not personally sponsored by Oreo, but our team is doing a promotion with Oreo. So, you know, got that going for us. Still feels good. Huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Black red would be great here. Oh, this little idiot? Okay. Well, we can kill that thing. Sulfur Falls? Sure. <laughs> Oreos filled with mayo? Oh, that sounds amazing. They're like, do I risk it? Oh, they don't risk it. Wild. Thassa. And uh, an island. Good for you. They get in there with this guy? Ooh, wee. Black source? Sounds good. This is all I can do, right? Yeah, okay. I do not have double black, six mana, five mana, or five mana, so Croxa it is. Yep, and I think we're just back on the two one train, guys. Thankfully we get to play another draft, but unfortunately it's unsatisfying to consistently come so close to the sun. May or nays. Oh, God. I mean, I have... This is literally the chance you could have done this because I have literally bl green and blue up. So the fact you didn't actually pump this there and then <laughs> play Prime Speaker off of it is pretty comical. I have put the legit fear in you. <laughs> right now we have black, black, blue, red. One more black we can play Nicol Bolas, but right now we're just playing Tatiova. Our hand is good if we hit one black land. Our hand is good if we hit a, f a card we can cast. Rosanna, Rosanna. They're still not doing it, even though I have like I'm like I'm like tapped out, and they're still not pumping their Draga Tree Speaker. It's pretty comical. Let me guess, Dream Trawler. 
Yeah, fucking of course. I'm probably taking this out of my cube af actually after feeling how miserable it is. And of course we don't hit a land. I got myself an unlimited rock mox ruby. Awesome, nice. That's <laughs> Oh god. Sometimes it's just miserable. I mean, I'm definitely blocking. Oh, now you're doing that. Okay. That's pretty comical. Um, two, three, four, five, six. This thing. Destroy a creature. Kill this. Doesn't do anything. Ugh, my god. It's so bad, dude. It's so bad. So basically, I won game one. Um, which was a long contested back and forth interactive battle and I lost games 2 and 3 to Dream Trawler so Wizards of the Coast take note your designs are shit sometimes and uh, yeah they're frustrating and miserable Three dream trawlers. Oh man, <laughs> I, want, I wonder if it bothers you if you go go through your life on a daily basis being this much of an asshole. I wonder if it's like if it's problematic or if you just kind of live with it. Like that's pretty wild, right? Yeah, cool. Flip your Nissa. Yep. Seems good. Well, and of course this one's a 3-5, this one's a 4-4-6. Four, four, so, you know, they both have uh They're too big for if I play like a Chandra and negative 4 it. But can't target either one of them. Our opponent has 5 minutes on the clock, which means they spent an extra 9 minutes than we did. Just wasting time. <sighs> yep, scavenging is got it. Sounds good. Yep. You ate the van I have a Croxa in my graveyard and you ate the vampire nighthawk. Oh boy. It's painful. Doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> what does it matter? What's the point? the fucking point thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons check me out at manatraders.com cool stuff inc every wednesday just had a new article go up and uh nordvpn.org slash frank lapore and uh don't don't need to be good you can just play three unbeatable cards what can you do thank you guys for watching be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons head on over to twitch.tv slash frank lapore you can subscribe there and follow both of those help me out a ton as this is my primary f form of income so if you guys aren't helping me out no, no one is. So I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching.